Hello and welcome. My name is Emil and I'm an artist and a liner cut printmaker. This tutorial you're about to watch is all about how I transfer my digital drawings made in, for example, Procreate to a sheet of lino. There are several ways of transferring an image from simple tracing with parchment paper or graphite paper, which works well for smaller liner cut prints. Two more involved methods using acrylic medium, a laser printer and label release paper. I've used all these methods for making liner cut prints in the past. And while I prefer the label release paper laser printer method, it can be more tricky to get right and more expensive compared to the other methods. I use it because I can get as detailed a transfer as I need, while the other methods aren't quite as precise, but require less preparation overall. The first method I'll show you is simply using a pencil, baking paper or parchment paper and either a printout of your design, a drawing in a sketchbook or on a piece of paper. Start by taping the parchment paper so that it doesn't move around while you trace your design. Now with a pencil, simply draw all the lines you want to transfer onto the parchment paper. When that is done, place the parchment paper with the pencil lines facing down and tape it to the lino. With the same pencil you used before, rub over all the lines you can see through the parchment paper. Be thorough, but there's no need to press so hard that you break the pencil. It's a good idea to check whether it's working or not by peeking under the parchment paper to see if you need more pressure, for example. Once you're satisfied, remove the parchment paper and you should now have a pretty accurate transfer. I recommend drawing the whole thing again with a marker because the graphite lines tend to smudge once you start carving. The next method I'll show you is using graphite paper, which is quite similar to using parchment paper, but has the advantage that you only need to trace the design once, and it doesn't really involve any rubbing or force for that matter. For this method, you'll need graphite paper, a pen or pencil, and a printout of your design. You could use a traditional drawing you've made, but keep in mind you have to trace directly on it, so it'll be ruined in the process. In that case, I recommend scanning your drawing and printing it out and using that to trace on top of. Another thing to keep in mind is to orient the graphite paper correctly with the graphite side down towards the lino. I once spent a couple of hours tracing only to realize that I had turned it the wrong way so I hadn't actually transferred anything, which was an annoying discovery. I ended up never trying again and just abandoning that particular design. 
place a sheet of graphite paper on top of the lino with the graphite side down and tape it in place. Next, place your drawing or printout on top and tape that down as well. Now, simply trace all the lines with a pencil and as with the last method, it's a good idea to check whether or not it's working by simply peeking under one of the corners. Just be careful to not move your drawing as it's next to impossible to place it in the same spot again. Once you're done tracing, simply remove the paper and as with the last method, I recommend using a marker to redraw the lines to avoid smudging when carving the lino. I think this method is better in terms of workload compared to the parchment paper method, but otherwise I think they're comparable in terms of level of detail and precision. The final method, which is my favorite, is also the most complicated and requires several steps, a long period of waiting for the paint medium to dry, and more materials and equipment overall. However, it is superior in terms of level of detail, and depending on the size of your work, it can be faster and less mind-numbing compared to the tracing methods I showed you before. So for this method, you'll need a laser printer, I use this HP LaserJet Pro M15A, which was simply the cheapest I could get my hands on. Then you need a label release paper, the backside leftover paper where labels and stickers are adhered to. I use these A4 sheets of labels. Uh, I use the labels themselves as shipping labels for when I've sold an artwork, and I save the backing paper when I'm done with a sheet. I also have these sticker sheets with my old logo on them that also work well for this application. And like the labels, I simply save each backing sheet when I've used the stickers. You also need some sort of acrylic transparent paint medium. I use this Liquitex gloss heavy gel, but I think any type should work. Finally, you need a brush or roller for the gel medium and a bone folder or any type of squeegee to eliminate bubbles. I like to prime my lino with a thin layer of white paint, but that's not really necessary. I just do it because it's easier for me to see the black lines. If you do prime it, make sure the surface is smooth before you start the transfer. For example, by sanding the surface with a fine grit sandpaper. If you're using a gray lino, this wouldn't be an issue and you can just skip this step completely. When I discovered this technique, it was a game changer for me. I originally saw the craftsman on YouTube demonstrate it to transfer images to various kinds of surfaces like plastic and metal. And I thought to myself, I wonder if I can use it on lino. So I started experimenting and I must admit, I don't think I'm ever going back to tracing. I've used it for all my liner cut prints these last couple of years, uh, like Spirit War, which I would never even have started if I had to trace the design manually to the lino.
first step is to print out your design on the label release paper. Uh, and today I'll just show you with one sheet of A4 paper, but as you just saw, it can easily be done with larger designs as well. Be aware, you have to print on the shiny surface, otherwise it won't work. Next, align the print with the lino and tape one edge down. Flip it to the side and apply a thin coat of the acrylic medium with either a brush or a roller. It dries fairly quickly, but you want a thin coat, so it's a good idea to work fast to avoid it drying before you've done the transfer. When the lino is covered, flip the paper back down and try to avoid any bubbles. With a bone folder or squeegee, start rubbing and squeegeeing out as much air and excess gel medium as possible. The flatter the paper lies against the surface, the better. Once you're satisfied, leave it to dry for at least four to five hours, preferably longer, before you peel the paper off. If it's not completely dry, you risk an uneven transfer or areas that didn't transfer at all. Despite my best efforts, I usually have to go back with a paint marker and fix small defects or spots where the transfer didn't quite work. Now would also be a good time to scrape off any excess gel medium. There's usually a buildup of it around the edge of the lino, but I find it's relatively easy to scrape off with a utility knife. If you are doing a transfer with several pieces of paper taped together, there's usually a buildup of the gel medium along the seams. Any sort of bump or unevenness on the surface can have a negative impact once you try to print the lino cut. So it's a good idea to be thorough when inspecting the surface. And that's about it. That's how I transfer a digital drawing to Lino. I hope it was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please ask below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. You help make this video a reality. If you want to see more videos about my line of cut process, take a look at my Patreon page where I post uh, blogs and tutorials every month. Link in the description. For now, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll enjoy the rest of your day.